Hi, I'm Gord. I'm the designer of board games like Santorini and math puzzles like you'll find in this series. Today we're going to look at a map coloring puzzle. This is brand new, you won't have seen it before. Uh, like most map coloring puzzles, uh, you cannot have two colors that are the same that share a border. So that, that much is in common. We're going to look at a map of Ukraine. And to make it simpler, you can see that this map is quite difficult to, to work with. So to make it simpler, we're going to put circles in every single one of these Ukrainian regions. There we go. Now, let's say uh, Donetsk, we're going to connect um, all circles that are connected to this one. So we can connect this one, uh, this one here. These two regions are connected. They share a border. So we're going to connect them with those two circles. Uh, these two should be connected because they share a border. Uh, these two also. Okay, but we, we aren't, for example, connecting to the Crimea be, because uh, these don't share a border. We're going to complete the whole graph. There we go. And we're just going to separate that. So that's the Ukraine. First of all, why are we dealing with the Ukraine right now? It's because we are remembering that in 1994, China and the US and the UK and France and Russia agreed to respect the territorial boundaries of the Ukraine in exchange for the Ukraine giving up its nuclear arsenal. Okay, so back to the puzzle. Um, this is a typical map coloring that you, you will see, and you can see that no two yellows are connected. Okay, that's nice. But we're going to do something a little bit more exciting. We're going to start with, let's say, green, and I'm going to start down the Crimea, and then maybe I'm going to go over here. Now, the rules are that you can't color uh, for example, I couldn't color this one green because it's connected, so I, I could color this one. I'm just going to go all the way around the perimeter. You can choose to color in any any way that you want. Uh, I can do this one. Then I, I think I might be finished. Yeah, I can't add any more. So I've added eight. And though that eight is going to be the units number. This first color is going to be the units number. So I've, uh, I've got eight of this first. Uh, color. Now I'm going to choose purple. I'm going to choose here. I'm going to go across the middle now. So I can't, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose this one and this one and this one. Am I finished? No, you cannot finish a color if you could add other circles to it. So I can add other circles. I can make them purple um, because this one. Now I think I'm finished. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I can add this one too. Okay, so that is seven. So that becomes my tens. So I have eight units, seven tens. Okay, let's keep on going. Uh, I'm gonna choose, let's choose red. And I, can't, I can choose this one. And uh, I could choose this one. And I can go up here and I can choose that one. And I can choose that one and that one. That is six hundreds. So I can put down here six hundreds. Okay, uh, next let's choose yellow. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose this one and this one. And that is as much. I can't fill this one because it's connected to this yellow. So that's three hundreds. And lastly, I'll choose blue. And that's one. No, that, that wasn't 300s, that was 3000s. So this is 1 10,000. So my number is, uh, first of all, let's just, let's, if you wanted to go black, we could go black um, just to see it in a different light. And this is the number that's so important. I want you guys to try to make that number as small as possible. And then I want you to try to make it as large as possible. Okay, that's that's your task. That's your only task, and it it's it's not at all obvious. And uh, I think it's it's going to be a fun puzzle for you to for you to try. Okay, I will show you next week not the answer because I don't know the answer. Instead, I'm going to show you the best that I've managed to do.